give you a Venn diagram. Inside this Venn diagram, we have set A, we have set B, and we have set C. Set A comprises of its own elements, set B comprises of its own elements, and set C comprises of its own elements. Firstly, before we start to answering these questions, let's write out the elements that are present in set A, the elements that are present in set B, and also the elements that are present in set C. So for set A, we have... Now, if we trace this A part, you will see all these elements that are present. You will see one, two, three. Now, if you look at this four and five, although it's this element of B, but you still see that it's still inside A because it's still under A. You can see it now. You can see it. So element B is still inside A. So if I'm to count all the elements that are present in set A now, these two is also included. They are included. This, 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 and this. So we have one, two, three. We also have four, five. This one, two, three, four, five. Now this six and seven two is under element A. So we also have six, seven. So that is for element A. For element B. Now, if you look, if you trace this C, this B part, you see that it's only what four and what and five. So the elements that are present are what four and five. So for element C, we have let's trace element C. You will see it. You see that this five is part of element C. You can see. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are under element C. If you trace the part. So here we have five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, they are under element C. Why this one, this eleven and twelve, they are not under element A. They don't belong to element B. They are not. They are not under element C. So they don't belong to any of them in any of these three elements. They are out. They are here. So. Let's begin to answer um, our questions one after the other. And the next one we have to write, which is very, very important, is the universe. Now, the universe, if you trace this, everything inside this, this um, shape, you see, this shape represents the universe. So everything inside this shape, they are in the universe. Now, how, what, are, what are those elements that are on inside the universe? We, you notice that A is also in, inside the universe, B is inside the universe, C is also inside this universe and these two they are also inside the universe so for the universe let's write the universe here you we have as i've said this every all elements inside this shape everything here they are inside the universe so we have one two three one two three this four and five four five six seven Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Including this 11 and 12. All the elements in A, B, C, they are inside the universe. And including this 11 and 12. So let's include 11 and 12. 11 and 12. So this is our universe. Okay? So um, let's begin to answer our um Question one after the other. Question one says A intercept B. We have to find A intercept B. A, this is A, this is B. You will look for elements that are common in A that are also common in B. That is what A intercept B means. Now, if you look at this shape too, what are those elements that are common in A and B? You know, we have already represented them in this form. So if you, if you start looking at it here, you may get confused. But let's look at it here. So we have written the elements in A, all the elements in A, we have written them out. All the elements in B, we also we have written them out. So what is A intercept B now? A intercept B means elements that are present in A that are also present in B. Now you see that A intercept B equals to what are those elements that are present in A and B? One is here, one is not here. Wrong. We can't we can't use one. Two is here, two is not here. No. Three is here, three is not here. Four is here, four is here. Okay, we have four. 5 is here, 5 years, we have 5. Is there any other element again? 6 is here, it's not here. 7 is here, it's not here. So A intercept B, they are what? 4 and 5. That is our number 1. Our number 2 questions, let's answer it here. Eh? Number 2, A intercept C. Now, this is, these are elements in A. 
these are elements in C. What are those elements that are present in A that are also present in C? What are those elements that occur both in A and C? So that is what A intersect C simply means. So for A, we have one here. Is there any one here? No. We have two here. Is there any two here? No. We have three. Is there any three? No. We have four. Is there any four here? No. We have five. Is there any five here? Yes. Five is also here. Five is common in both. We have five. Okay. We have six. Is six also here? Yes. Six is also here. We have six. We have seven. Yeah. Is, is there any seven here? Yes. We have seven. We have eight here. Is there any eight here? No. We have nine here. Is there nine here? No. We have ten. Is there ten here? No. So our A intersect C, there are what? Five, six, and seven. So our, let's answer question number three. Since B intersect C. B intersect C. What are those elements that are common in both B and C? In both B and C. Element, element that you can find here, and you can also find that same element here. We have four here. Is there any four here? No. We have five here. Is there any five here? Five. Yes, we have five. We have it to be five. We have six here. Is there any six here? No. Seven here. Is there any seven? No. Eight here. Is there any eight? No. Nine. Is there any nine? No. Ten. No ten. So the only element that is common in both is what? Is five. That is our B intersect C. Then let's come back to uh, question number four, which says, uh, number four says, our A intersect B intersect C, which uh, is equal to now, what are those elements that are present in A that is also present in B that is also present in C? Let's look at it together. One is there, one is not here, one is not here. No. What are those elements that are common? We have four here, four here, four is not here. No. But if you look at it, you see that it is five, five, and five. So it's still five. It is only five that is common here, common here, and it's also common here. Let's go to question number. Um, which one? Number five. Let's answer question number five. Question number five says A prime intersects C. Good. Now, I would like to write this thing out before I proceed. I would like to write it out here. Our A prime, as we have element A, we also have element, we also have A prime. As we have element B, we also have B prime. This is called prime. Prime. All these are called prime. So as you have B, we also have B prime. As you have C, we also have C prime. So let me write it out here. If I proceed, let me write them out. Let me write them out here. We have A prime to be equal to what? A prime simply means elements that are not in this A. Elements that you cannot find there. That those elements, they are present in the universe. Elements that are not in A, that are present in the universe. Now, if you see A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. But if you see that in the universe, we can see 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But they are not in A. So our A prime starts from where? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Because they are not found in A. A prime simply means elements that are not in A that are present in the universe. And they are what? Uh, um, before we start, before we answer question number 5 downward, let's do this one first. So we have elements in A. A prime, we have it to be. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Why? Let's look for, let's do for B prime. B prime. Yes, elements that are not in B, that are present in the universe. The elements, those elements, they are not in this B, but they are all present in the universe. If you look at it, you see that 1, 2, and 3. For the beginning at first, you see that it's not, they are not here. Likewise, we have 4 and 5 here. No, it, we don't count this one because 4 and 5 is there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Those elements, except 4 and 5, they are not present in this B. So what are those elements that are not present in B that are here? We have 1, 2, 3. I, I don't pick 4 and 5 because 4 and 5 are here. So I will jump to 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So let's look for C prime. C prime simply means elements that are not in C that are also in the universe. You can see that all prime, prime, prime they this with connection between that element and the universe. So for elements in C, we have all these elements. But what are those elements that are not here that are in the universe? Okay, we have one here, two, three, four, eleven, and twelve. So th that is our C prime. We have one. 2, 3, 4, 11, and 12. 
So that is our A prime, our B prime, and our C prime. Now let's answer question number five. Now question number five says A prime and C. This is not C prime. Oh, we are looking for A intersect A prime intersect C. This is our A prime intersect C. So we are looking at these two, these two, A prime intersect C because this is not C prime. A prime intersect C. We have what? Therefore, our five. Let's begin our five where A prime intersect C. Yeah, what? What are those elements that are common in A prime and this C? Is look for the common element that are here. That is that those element that are also here. We have five here. Five is not here. Six here. Six is not here. Seven here. Then it's seven. No. Eight is here. Eight is here. Yes. Eight. We have eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. So those are those elements we have. Eight, nine, ten. That is our A prime intersect C. So let's look at the next one. We have um, we have our VI to be what? Our VI. Our VI is A intersect B prime intersect C prime. So now we are dealing with A intersect B prime and intersect C prime. A, we are looking at A intersect B prime and intersect C prime. So look for those elements that are common in A, B, B prime and C prime. So we look for those elements that are common in those three. So we have it to be, let's say, uh, let me write it here. A intersect B prime intersect C prime. Yeah, what, what are those elements that are common in A, B, B prime and C prime? So let's look at it. We have, we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, if you look at this, this has four. This the A has four. Let me write. Let's start. Let's write it one after the other. One is common in those three. One, two. We have two here. Two here. Two here. Two. We have three here. Three here. Three here. Three. We have four here. We don't have four here. We have four here. We have four here. But we don't have four here. I don't need to write it. We have five here. We don't have here. We don't have here. No. We have six here. Do you have six here? No. I don't need to write six. We don't have six here too. Okay, um, we have seven here. Do you have seven here? No, but we have seven here. So, the only element that are pre common in those three, they are what one, two, and three. So, that is for that. Let's answer our VII. -I. V -I -I. That is number of number of elements, number of elements that are present in a junior being. First thing we need to know A union B. A union B. Before we know the number of elements present, what is A union B first? A union B equals to what? Okay, this A, this B. A union B simply means we combine all the elements in A and B together. Except if you see any element that repeated in two forms, that is, if you see any element in repetitions, like four year, four year, just pick one. Okay, this A union B. Let's do it in this form. We combine A and B together, right? We have one. One is here. Two is here. Three is here. But they are not here. Don't worry. You just need to write. It's just like you are add, you are combining them together. So you mix them together. We have one, two. Let's arrange them in order. Three. But here now you see that we have four. We have four here. So no need of writing four and four together. Just pick one for to represent the two. So pick one. Here also, we also have five and five. Pick one, two, five. But you see that we have six and seven. I just add the six and seven. This is just like the inver the reverse of intersection. You understand? So we look for we add them together, but don't repeat uh, elements. Don't repeat it. So that is our A union B. So our therefore our number of elements in A union B. They are what? Just count all these elements. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many elements altogether? There are seven elements. That is the meaning of number of elements in A union B. Let's answer the next question we have. V, I, I. So this, that is, number of elements present in B intersect C. Before you can know the number of elements present in B intersect C, let's find B intersect C first. B intersect C, this is our B, this is our C. Intersect means no elements that are common in, that, that are common here, that are also common here. What is that element? You see that there are what? We have only five here. Four is here, four is not here, right? So we just have only five here. So that is five. Therefore, number of elements in B intersect C, in B intersect C, is what? 
how many elements that are present here it's just only five that are occurring in both places so it's just one element let me repeat that again b intercept c simply means elements that are in b that are also in c but unfortunately it was just only element that is common in b that is also common in c so that is b intercept uh, what b intercept uh, c but when you talk about how many number of elements how many like this you can count their number we count their number to be one two three four five six seven seven elements if you count this each of them have number if you count them so this one now we are not looking at b intercept but we are counting the number of elements it's just only one element which is five so that was why we wrote one here okay Let's look at the next question, which is um, our IX. We have number of elements present in A Union C. Firstly, we need to know A Union C. Now we are combining A and C together. We are we are combining them together now. This is not intercept, this union. We are combining them together. But you avoid repetition of number. Don't repeat number that are coined twice. Now we are combining them together. We want to mix them together. We have one, two, three one two three four now i will write one five although five is common here five is also common but i will just write represent only one to represent boots five yeah i have six and six rep, right one to represent boots six i have seven and seven right one to represent boots yes since we are combining them together eight nine and ten are here but they are not here but we are combining them together so we join them together eight nine and ten so number of elements present in A Union C, they are what? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 elements. There are 10 elements. So the last question is number of elements present in A Union B Union C. So we need to know A Union B, A Union B Union C. We are combining all the elements in A, B, and C together. So we are combining them together. We have one, two, three. We have one, two, three. We have four. We are combining them together. We have four here. You know, we have one, two, three here, but this one doesn't have this one doesn't have. We, since we are combining them together, we have to write it. So we begin from the lowest. So we have one, two, three. We have four here. We have four here, but four is not here. But since I'm, we are combining them together, I just pick one, four. We have five. We have six, we have seven, we have, we are combining these three together, all of them. Eight here, yeah? yes. We have nine, we have, let me write it here, we have nine, and we have ten. Since we have gotten A, you know B, you know C. Then, let's answer it now. So, the, since we have gotten A, you know B, you know C. A, you know B, you know C, which are all these elements. Then, let's find the number of elements that are present. So, therefore, our... I, since uh, this, this, this is the last um, 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 solution now, so let me just manage here. I don't need to open the other side. Let me just write the answer here. We have number of elements that are present in A, A, Union B, Union C. They are what? Let's count them. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 11. Sorry. Hey, I wrote 2, 4. Sorry, sorry, not two, four. It must be one, just only one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they are ten. They are ten. That is our final star. Stay tuned for more tutorial videos. Just share this video to your friends. Let them learn. Let them learn. And if you watch any of our video, if you have any question, drop it on the comments. I will surely reply your uh, comments. Thank you very much once again. Like, don't forget to like this video and share. Thank you.